Hey y'all, it's Nona. Today I'm here with a collab with my beautiful friend, Leora Hallel Goldberg. This woman is gorgeous. She should be a model. She is so stunning. She does the most beautiful, intricate eye looks. She wears turbans and she does uh, wrapping um, videos to show you how to wrap your turbans in different styles. She is amazing. She has seven kids. Her home is beautiful. She is beautiful. Her clothing is beautiful. Her turbans are beautiful. Her makeup is beautiful. This woman is superwoman. She has a very strong faith. She's Jewish. And I love that about her. And um, she's just a beautiful, beautiful person. And I'm so, so honored and blessed to be doing this collab with her. I am beyond blessed that she is my friend um we met just a while back i believe through anya stamper through a collab that anya and i had done um and it was one of my destination inspiration collabs that i do on my channel and i had chosen israel for anya and leora had commented that that was the country she lived in and um so we got to talking and that's how we became friends and I just absolutely love her and I'm just beyond thrilled that she's collabing with me today. So we decided to do our own destination inspiration collab and funny thing, Leora had said that she kind of wanted to do a little twist on it and instead of just picking any destination that we, ch that we wanted, we should choose our favorite, um, you know, bucket list vacation destination that we have, the place we want to visit most. And we both chose the same place. <laughs> it was so crazy. I just couldn't believe it. We, she, we chose Ireland. And I'm an Irish girl through and through. And my husband is Irish as well. And so Ireland has a special place in my heart. It's like my homeland. And I, you know, I've always wanted to go there. I think it is so breathtakingly beautiful. And obviously you think of greens and the blue ocean and the gray craggy, you know, rocks. And it's it's just stunning and vibrant and lush and it just makes you think of nature and goodness and it makes me just feel like it's so green and lush that the air would be so clean and spectacular there it's just breathtaking so this is the, the picture that Leora sent me and I will insert it here Isn't that a gorgeous view? It's so beautiful. Obviously you see the bright greens, different variations of green. There's a really super bright greenish yellow. There's all the way down to a really deep forest green. Um, obviously there's a giant mass of Kelly green. Then there's the beautiful blue ocean, but it also has like a sheen of silver on it. Um, the white clouds, the beautiful blue sky. And like I mentioned, the gray craggy rocks. So. I see a little patch of yellow and orange, which makes me very happy because I love yellow and orange, and uh, orange is my favorite color to put on the eye, so I'm happy that's in there. So the color scheme that I've decided to work with today is orange, yellow, blue, and obviously green, and uh, I might even do a little, little glitter, I don't know. But that's the palette I'm going to work with, so let's just get started. I'm going to go into my... Aren't you glad by ColourPop with the fluffy brush and I'm going to take Sunkissed and I'm going to run that through my transition area. I always say crease but it's really not my crease. I have hooded eyes and my crease is hidden away. So this is my transition area. It is above the crease. And then I generally call my crease my socket because, you know, it's way back deep in there. That's a beautiful orange. Kind of soft, but still bright and vibrant. Just want to add a little more to it. I like to build up my colors rather than going ham from the start because I am not a makeup artist by any means or a booty guru 
I'm just a, like my friend Anna says, I'm just a random stranger on the internet talking to you about beauty. And I love that quote. She starts all of her videos with that quote and it's just so, so true. So I'm liking that. Leora loves color and lots of it. She is not afraid to put a bunch of bold colors together to create a look and they're always gorgeous and cohesive. She does a lot of cut crease work and um, just amazing looks. She is so talented. So, so talented. As a matter of fact, I believe that she does makeup. She's a makeup artist. I believe that's what she does for her job right now. So she is super duper talented. If I only had half of her talent, I would be thrilled. So there's my orange. Next, I think I'm gonna take some green. And I'm gonna go into Act Natural. And I'm gonna put that in my socket. These shades are super pigmented. And they are a little powdery but I really really enjoy the ColourPop shadow formula it's one of my favorites and they're so so affordable they come out with so much stuff so if you are a ColourPop junkie and you want to keep up it would get into a lot of money but just to buy something here and there they're very affordable I wish I could afford all their releases. That's for sure. I've never seen a ColourPop palette that I didn't like. That's kind of pretty. Looks like I lost a little of my orange. We don't want to do that. So we'll just put a little orange back up there at the top. Blend that out. I want green to be the star of this look. I'm sure when you think of Ireland, everybody thinks of the color green. St. Patty's Day and Shamrocks and might add a little more on this side. I'm going to go ahead and buff over this side with the orange brush. Whoa. Gonna dip back into my orange palette. Add a little more orange. You can never have enough orange. Okie dokie. What do I want to do now? I'm going to take some blue on my lid. 
and I'm going to go into Tide Pool. It's beautiful shimmer. I'm going to spray it with my Wet n Wild setting spray. I spray every shimmer regardless of brand. I need a makeup desk that's like five times the size of the one I got. I'm going to put that blue on each side. On the outer part of my lid and the inner. leave the middle blank for now I should use like concealer or something to to do this but I think I would mess up <laughs> if I did That is a gorgeous blue. Just stunning. Super, super pretty. So for the center of my lid, I think I'm gonna put yellow. Some yellow. Let me wipe this brush off. And we're gonna go into Dandy. And we're gonna put that in the center of our lid just a little spritz of spreading of spreading spray Not too sure how I feel about this, <laughs> but we're going to continue on with it. Maybe, I don't know. I'm thinking I need a little more green to this look. So, I am going to run this absolutely gorgeous shade, Mary Jane, under my lower lash line. Seeing a little bit of fallout. Let's see if I can get that off with a powder brush. looks pretty good so go ahead and get out my hmm I haven't done an outer V and you know what I don't think I'm going to I'm gonna go right into Mary Jane which is my favorite 
shade in this palette. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. I'm almost ashamed to do my look and then tell you to go to Leora's channel <laughs> and see hers because hers is going to be so amazing. You're all probably going to laugh at why she would want to collab with someone like me. Uh, but that's just the sweethearted person that she is. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking that. I think I'm going to take a deeper green. Mobama. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a little bit to my outer V. Not a whole lot because, well, I say that. <laughs> want a little tiny bit of you know definition there I think that'll be okay Just a little bit. I think that looks okay. For now. Maybe I want a little more orange up top. I'm going to try to take a smaller brush and uh, see if I can add a little orange up top. I'm going to go back into um, Sunkissed. With a little pencil brush and see if I can add a little bit. Yeah, that I like that. I didn't want to lose my orange. Y'all know how I love some orange. So I'm gonna do the other eye. I didn't know what direction to go with this look, but I don't think this was it. <laughs> I don't think this is the direction I had planned. I like that. I'm going to add a little more on the other side. I went a little darker on that side. So, now, I want to do something on the inner corner. 
So I think I'm going to take this silvery blue. This one. And it's called Lumi. And I think I'm going to put that in my inner corner. I used warm and cool colors, so I don't know if that's maybe what's throwing me off the way this looks, but I'm going to go off here and I'm going to uh, put on some this little hard candy black eyeliner in my waterline and this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'll be back to do some lips. And this is the finished eye look. I definitely think it could be better, but it could definitely be worse. So, not too upset with it. And I think I've debated on the lippy, but I think I'm going to go on with my tried and true Milani Double Espresso. This beautiful brown to represent the earth. And uh, I just, I like to do. A dark lip with a bold eye. I don't know why. I know you're supposed to do one or the other, but I know this is awful to sit here in silence and watch me do this. Maybe I'll do my lips off camera from now on. Now the finished look. Again, I want to thank Leora so much for collabing with me for being my friend, for being such a sweet, wonderful person that she is. Um, she brightens my day every day when I see her videos and her beautiful smile. She lights up a room. She's amazing and I love her to pieces. So if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Please go check out Leora's channel. I will have it linked in the description box below. Subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that good YouTube stuff. Bye bye.